Uh, hey everyone, this is Alex from Chipit. Uh, I wanted to show you how you create a very simple autoresponder in the live chat widget. Now, as you can see here, we're using our own live chat thingy over here on our own website, dog booting our own product, if you will, uh, where people can send us questions and requests. Now, the thing with live chat is that uh, sometimes there's no one there to respond, right? Everyone, we all live in different time zones, and etc., etc. So how do you deal with it? You create a couple of automation rules in Jitbit Help Desk. The first we'll call uh, uh, pause for 30 seconds. What it does is when the ticket has been created, we check that a ticket actually comes through the live chat. The condition is ticket came via live chat widget and then we do this we trigger another automation rule we haven't created it yet uh, we'll create it a bit later but we don't do that right away first we wait for 30 seconds to allow our technicians our help desk agent to re actually respond to the ticket and then we trigger another automation rule that will you know create the response so we save this rule for now, we create another one. Uh, responder. Uh, it's triggered by another rule. It checks that a ticket has zero replies. No one has replied to this ticket yet. And then we do this. We uh, add a reply to this ticket <clears throat> that goes, for example, sorry, uh, uh, there's no one there uh, there's no one there <laughs> to take your call your call is very important to us blah, blah, blah. Uh, but we log your request and get back to you uh, that's it that's basically it so what we did here is we create a rule that waits for 30 seconds. It checks that the ticket actually came through the live chat. It waits for 30 seconds and then it triggers another rule that we just created, the responder rule. Here's a little handy link to that rule. You can click it, you, it opens up in a, in a new window. The responder rule triggered by the delay, 30 second delay rule. And then it adds a reply. Sorry, there's no one there to take your call. And, but before that, it checks that the ticket has no replies from humans. No one has replied, no one has responded yet, right? So that's, that's it. So, uh, you know what, to uh, just to double check, we had another condition here that ticket comes via live chat. We'll check it the second time, just in case we make a mistake and we trigger this rule from some other rule, right, accidentally came through live chat widget there are no replies then we respond okay so that's basically it and that's the first one we created right yeah uh, that's basically how we deal with it thank you